What's going on, everybody? My name's Danny Ferrari. My name's Parker Immense. We are Excellent Sound, and man, we haven't fucking danced like that in a minute. I know, dude. It's time, though. Yeah, it's time. We're getting the remakes back. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic fucking day. We are super excited for this remake. You know why? We've never done this artist. Well, we've done one of the artists, but we've never done this other artist. It's a classic artist, dude. Classic artist. Rez and Deadmau5. Might get a little offended. He might get mad, but whatever. He gets mad about everything. He's like the Karen of EDM. Yeah. <laughs> Go. He's got <laughs> Karen. Please don't pull it. Okay, let's talk about Dead Mouse for a second, bro. Just a, just a little quick. The epitome of just good, simple production, right? Never overcomplicates it, but just very, very clean sounding. Obviously, the guy is a fucking beast at producing sound design. You know, he's got all this crazy shit in his studio. You know, he's using real synths. So it was really fun to try to recreate uh, like a real analog synth, which is what we're doing here today. But yeah, shout out Deadmau5, he's the fucking shit. And of course, Rez. Rez is amazing. Rez is dope. We fuck with Rez, obviously. We love the mid temps. There's a reason why like this is his first collab with like another <laughs> yeah. artist in a really long time, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, so we're super stoked to be doing this remake. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Drop a like if you do, or if you don't, still like it. And comment down in the video uh, what you guys want to see us do next. Make sure you guys are subscribed. If you're new here, we are trying to get to 50K. When we hit 50K, we are doing something big. What are we doing, Parker? Do you remember? We are dropping an exclusive sample pack just for you guys, just for the subs. Ooh. And it's going to be totally free. It's going to be like free. a little baby pack. It's oh. not going to be like a little mini, like here's some free stuff. Uh -huh. It's going to be a giant, excellent sound pack. Yes. It's going to so, be beautiful. Look out for that. And speaking of sample packs, we are so fucking excited to be finally Drum being roll, able baby. to put out a brand new pack. We're gonna give you a date. We got all this different shit going on, okay? And boom! There it is, baby. Volume two! Woo! Volume two! You guys love the first one so much that we're doing uh, the second one, of course. If you're struggling with your drops, this is the preset bank to get. It's 100 presets. Uh, we are doing, for the first 500 people that buy it, we'll get an extra 50 presets. Yeah. Yep. An extra 50 presets, okay? So normally it's 100, 100 presets for like 35 bucks. Um, make sure that if you guys want to get this, go get it immediately once it comes out. And the date is May 28th. Yes. We'll have the demo track hopefully up uh, now or, or this week or next week. But you Now this know. looks very expensive, you it's guys. very expensive. It's very expensive, but it is not. But it's a we value. We are keeping it affordable for you guys. Yep. So that, but it's a beautiful pack. Look, beautiful it's like pack. a it's like a nug of of purple it's beauty. It's just like drop sounds, no fucking chords. Yeah, fuck those chords, dude. Fuck the plucks. We put one chord in the last one. We took it out. We took it out. We dude. took that shit. I think out. there is another chord in there, but I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of cool sequence stuff to get you ideas. Even if you don't like, you know, you're gonna like the sounds, but. The idea is that even the sequences will give you uh, just a little inspiration to get an idea or a pattern going. That's what's really cool about it. That's why I really enjoyed it. Look forward to that, guys. Make sure you guys are, oh wait, are we doing a pre-save? We are doing a pre-save. We are doing a pre-save. So basically, if you want to be that first 500, you have to pre-save. Link will be in the description down below right now. We are giving you guys two weeks to sign up with the pre-save sale. If you sign up for the pre-save, okay, and you are the first 500 to buy, you're going to go ahead and get that 150 presets, so you're gonna get that 50 preset bonus right there. Yes, and to sign up for that list, the link will be down below. So let's fucking get into it. Uh, we got a dope fucking track. Obviously what we do here at Excellent, if you're new here, we remake everything. We try to remake all the kicks, the snares and stuff like that. And we're super, super excited. Let's go and show you what so which part we're doing. We're gonna do this one. The anal saw, bro next level shit right there. So this was really cool. So it's kind of funny. Like it seems like it's this like really thick sounding bass and I'm helping out with Diego trying to help him with this remake. Just an interesting sort of story about it. But basically, you know, he was trying to make the sound. He made this really cool sound, but it was just completely overcomplicated. And a sound like this is actually really simple. Even though it sounds really thick, it's really, really, really simple, right? It's not as, as crazy as you would think. I just thought of uh, Dead Mouse like in his studio, like he's probably using his synths and stuff like that, like those are, you know, and those are usually just basic shapes. Yeah, he doesn't have crazy wavetables in the modular synths, right, you know? Right, exactly. So I have an initiated one sounding right here, sounds like this. No processing on this quite yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up and I'm just gonna show you guys. It's actually super, super basic and super easy, okay? So what you all gotta do is start with a saw wave, just like so, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna make an LFO one. You can do this with, with an LFO or you can do it with an envelope if you wanna go ahead and put in initially every single mini note like we did, but make sure it's set to trigger. 
and make sure you have the filter turned on for the MG Low 18. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and apply this LFO one to here, put the cutoff at 45 hertz, and then pull it all the way up to about 100, and it's gonna get real plucky. The real thing about it is, is adding the drive. Um, the drive kind of helps it give it that like sort of warmth, that real analog feel. Yeah. And now usually when you're doing something like this, when you're using LFOs, you gotta be kind of careful if you're trying to do like a little rhythmic sort of thing with the LFO trigger, like we have it here on quarter notes. You wanna make sure that your LFO is long enough because essentially it's stopping right here. Look at the note length, which it sounds good, but I'm saying just be aware of that. Sometimes I'll do like a really faster one or a slower one and I'll draw similar to this an envelope. So just a cool little trick right there. Okay, once you got your, your LFO set, that's pretty much basically it. <laughs> that's how yeah. simple this sound is. It's a saw wave with a nice MG Low 18, a little bit of drive. You can always use a little bit of portamento. Sometimes it can get you some cool vibes. A little bit more gliding into each note. So after that, you're gonna wanna head, go ahead and process uh, the sound. So for the first thing for processing, before we actually get into that, we wanna talk about two real quick. If you wanna get this project file and all these sounds right now, you could sign up for our Patreon, sign up for the YouTube tier or above, and you'll have access to tons of our project files. We recommend you guys take advantage of that and tell them why, Parker. We are doing something super crazy. We have two goals. We've never done any goals on Patreon We have before. no goals. <laughs> no goals. No goals. You guys have just been signing up uh, and we're super stoked on it. You guys help yeah. us out a lot. But we are making two goals for some special stuff going on. Our first goal is gonna be 500 patrons. When we hit that, doing an exclusive pack just for patrons, absolutely free. It'll be a big pack too. Yes, and that's gonna be separate from our 50K goal. So Correct. there's gonna be a ton of crazy free stuff happening free content very, free very content. soon. Yes. And our second goal is gonna be when we reach 750 patrons, we're gonna be releasing another exclusive. Or you could say a re-release of something. A, a re-release? That was it exclusive. Could've been, that it could've been could've exclusive. Been. You could've had a chance to get it, but you didn't. It could have been taken down, it could have been uh, sold out, it could have been uh, something. Might be available just for the patrons. We'll just say that, let you guys it figure it out. It could be. So, uh, mystery. Mystery goal at 750. You're so gonna like it, trust us. Be sure to check out Patreon, help us hit that goal. Get some crazy sounds. Yeah, you was know? Fucking, that, was, that was fucking clean, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bud. All right, cool. So now you know, it's like I said, it's pretty basic, but it's crazy when you think about it. It's just a simple saw wave with just a little bit of LFO, and a little bit of filter. There's no processing, okay, on the on serum side. Now, there's this certain sound. It reminds me of like Need You with by Dylan Francis and yeah. Nightmare. Basically, it's just a thick sort of saw wave. A little bit of pluckiness. And all we're doing here for the processing is we're adding OTT, pulling up. Nobody ever fucking does this besides you and me. Pull up the highs. It's the weird. Them. Why is that? I know you like to turn the highs down. Yeah, I like I, turning the highs down. You like to turn them down here, but yeah. I really like to pull them up, the highs and the mids. And to get that really, really thick sound, like Death Pack or, or you know, like this, this bass specifically, you just gotta use, like there's, you can just tell, it's like the sound of two OTTs, right? Mm -hmm. So I got a second OTT with a little more top end at 22%. And of course the output's at 4.3. And then I have a third one right here. Oh, no, I got four of them. A more top end, more mids. It's just, I'm trying to get sound of OTT essentially, the yeah. thick. Sounding really, really thick. Let's start hearing it in context. I mean, it's, oh, it's pretty much almost there, right? So yeah. next, I went. Ahead, this is just for, for shits and giggles. I added another one. <laughs> so I basically got, let's see, one, two, three, four OTTs. But dude, you know what's funny about that is in our Death Pact video, we actually gave out the real, right. the real sound that Death Pact did with Res. Right. And in that rack, there's there's like six OTTs yeah. in there. There's multi-band compressors. So like, this is like a real thing. Yeah, you know, it's absolutely. not It's not just, we, oh, we feel like putting more OTTs. Like, right. this is what they're really doing. Yeah, and you can see that video, right? Yeah. Boom, right there. Check it out, okay. So yeah, here's all the OTTs. I think the Patreon was, was covering it, but here it is for you all. And then the last OTT, like I said, is just a little bit of top end and kind of just duplicating this, but this one's at 44%. Sometimes messing with the dry wet of multiple OTTs, even though it doesn't at 100%, can, can get some interesting stuff. Yeah. And if you haven't seen our glitch video, make sure you guys watch that video, especially <laughs> for that. That will be right up there. Watch that video. It's really, really dope what you can do with OTT. Um, okay, and then we're just gonna have a little saturator to cut it off. Um, we're not gonna doing soft clip. We're just letting it clip a little bit. They get that analog clips thing still. Because when you do this, it puts the limiter and just fucking hacks it off. We want that sound of that analog clip. And then uh, lastly, just a little bit of gain uh, with put up to 8.33. 
And of course, uh, a little EQ with a low cut and a little boost right here for the sound and then a little high end. And it's cool because a lot of these other sounds, like I said, you can get in the, the Patreon. We made everything. We made the kicks. We made the snare. We made the hi-hats, all that stuff, all the effects. Uh, there's some other cool sounds like this one's pretty cool. A little bit more complex than that one, but I just wanted to show you this one. I know it's like really simple, kind of a real short video, but it's really, really cool what you can do with just simple, simple presets as far as like a simple sound with just a saw and an LFO. And you'll be really surprised about how much you can actually push that and how much that actually comes out in your mix a bit because it's just like the purest, yeah. you know, it's not analog, feels like it more, I don't know. Yeah, but I think that something that you kind of like kind of grazed over was you got into Dead Mouse's head of like how, yeah. you know, like he's not, you were totally right, he's not gonna pick a crazy wavetable no. and start with that, you know, that's not how he thinks. Yeah. And maybe Rez does, cause she's like more, more yeah. modern and a little bit crazier on the sound design, but like he's definitely not so, Getting into their heads. That's a good, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you said it like really quick, but I just wanted you guys to hear it. That's a good nug right there if you, you know? smoke nugs. Yeah, get into the artist's head. Yeah, that's, yeah. Get into the artist's heads. Uh, cue the fucking music. Bam. Cue it, baby. Get into the fucking artist heads that you're trying to emulate that inspire you. Try to think about what they were actually thinking about when they made this sound or, or that song and try to think about what tools they had available to them too. That was a big thing for us when we made uh, the first Skrilla uh, that we actually sat down and we tried to get into like, you know, we actually- Analysis, Analysis, dude. like l legit, like what was Skrillex using in 2012, right? What did he have access to in 2013? And then taking all those things and, and progressing them so that you could progress the sound. So like now in my head, if I want to make a modern Skrillex sound, I know specifically where to go because I started at that point and I and I really got into the the, and this to the is mind like, frame. This is like the studying part. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, guess what what DAW does he use? Yeah, he uses Ableton. Dead Mouse? Oh yeah, D Dead Mouse too. Yeah. No, he uses Logic. No, sir, he uses Ableton. He uses Logic. Watch your fucking mouth. You better you better study up a little bit more. If you, Dead hear, Mouse, you heard it here. I'll do a bet right now. Oh my gosh, what do you want to bet? He uses Ableton. Uh, I Logic. Okay, what are we betting? Um, hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Okay. You heard it here first. Comment down below. What Logic, you think. baby. Okay. I can't wait to get that. So bucks. back, back to smoking Nodge, Okay. <laughs> you got to study up on what your boys use. You yeah. Know? What Skrillex uses, what Dead Mouse uses, Res, everybody. You know, what does Eliminate use? Eliminate uses FL. Yes, he does. And what type of synths is he's got specific synths and like the delay and exactly and all that like stuff, his so. specialty is the delay thing, yeah. the phaser. You know, get your get your research up. Go yeah. to, you don't even have to go to school for this. It's kind not of even stuff, like you know? I don't even look at his studying. It's just like fun. It's like trying to figure out a puzzle. You know. What yeah. I mean? Or like Flume. You know, he uses all this analog stuff. He uses like Synplant. Like yeah. You know, this is all stuff that you guys sh you guys can just look up online. You know? Absolutely. So hopefully that was informative for you all. Sorry we're talking so much, but I feel like a lot of times it's not just like making the sound. It's like trying to share knowledge that we have yeah. or think we have. <laughs> but yeah. Stay tuned for the next video Stay to see tuned. who won this bet. Yeah. Make sure that you, uh, again, check out for Drops Only Volume 2, again, in the Boom. description below to sign up for the pre-save. First 500 purchasers at our pre-save will get you an extra 50 presets, okay? We're talking 150 presets for 35 bucks. That's insane. It's insane. That's, That's insane. insane in the mind, bro. That's insane. <laughs> cool. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, if you want to see more remakes, let us know. We got some more videos coming soon. We love you. We're Thanks trying to be watching, watching guys. Thank you. Let's play this shit out.